What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a banger of a video. Hope you guys enjoy this one, drop a like if you do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and also, don't forget to go subscribe to my podcast channel, which is launching very soon this year. Just in a few months now, we're coming in with the freshest, the finest new podcast, and there are already many fake channels, so make sure you click the link at the very very top of the description and subscribe to the only official Goblin Podcast channel. I appreciate you guys for the support on that. Go drop a sub if you haven't done it yet. Seriously, what are you waiting on? Go do it and come back to the video. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So, this took place in 2019 during the summer of 2019. And for those of you who have watched my videos for a little while, you might know that that was the Coke Chronicles period of my life. By that I mean, you know, I made a whole series documenting my very aggressive cocaine use throughout this period. Now, this was one of those days that uh, I didn't quite tell in the series I made about this uh, this period, but nevertheless, I felt it was pretty worth a video. This was a this was a spooky event to say the least. So on this particular day, you know, I, I was hitting up the homies trying to see where I was gonna go, and my buddy Sam invited me over to his apartment. I've talked about this guy many times before. Good friend of mine. He's been in many of my stories. Uh, I think you guys might remember him from this one, but he actually. Uh, uh, he has a mom who watches us through the cameras on the, the little camera system in there, and they have speakers, and she'll get on the camera and yell at us. So, if that rings a bell for any of you guys who have watched my videos, you OGs out there, you know who Sam is. But either way... Sam hits me up, and he's like, yo, dude, come through to my crib. Sam was also in a raging cocaine binge at this point. Not necessarily coke, more so any drug he could get his hands on, but on this particular day, he wanted to do some blow. So, I was very excited to go over there. I drove over to Sam's house. I brought some blow with me. I didn't have to re-up already. It was a good day. I had, like, probably two grams on me, so maybe a little over two grams, actually, because I bought an eight ball the day before, done a little bit of it, and then saved most of it. So I'd say I had probably two and a half Gs, but either way, I drove over to Sam's house, and when I got there, there was another familiar face there who we're going to call Anthony. Now... Anthony is someone who I haven't seen since high school because Anthony went to jail. He robbed somebody at gunpoint uh, for, for tickets. I don't remember to what event. It was... It might have been Lollapalooza, actually. I don't... I... He robbed someone. Either way, that, that's the gist of it. He robbed someone for some shit. But either way, I hadn't seen this guy since we were in high school. So he's there, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like... Like, dude, I, I didn't even know this guy was still around in the area. Like, I, I thought this dude was gone, vanished. So, I dab him up. I'm like, Anthony, what's going on? Turns out that Anthony came through because he, too, wanted to do some blow. And luckily, Sam and I shared the same plug. So, before I'd even gotten there, he had already grabbed some shit, which I was completely unaware of. So, they had both went in, and they had their own bags, and we were ready to party. So, we chop up, we do a little bit of blow, and we decide that we want to go to the store and grab some drinks, you know? Sam, for some reason, has absolutely nothing in his fridge. And I mean, like, nothing. Also, his sink was weirdly dirty, and it made me kind of uncomfortable. So I was like, bro, let's just go get, like, some sodas and shit at the store, you know? I mean, we'll, we'll go to the grocery store. We can get a bottle, too. We were trying to grab ourselves some nice bevies and have a chill little evening. So we all opt to hop in Anthony's car. Now, this is where we made the first mistake. You see, Anthony drives like he's in fucking Simpsons Hit and Run, if any of you have ever played that game. He drives like he's playing Forza. I mean, this guy looks at the speed limit, and he's like, we could probably triple that. Like, I shit you not, the last time prior to this, I, I remember this so vividly, because I've only rode in this guy's car, like, maybe three or four times in my life, and it's just horrifying every time. But the last time that I remember riding in this guy's car, before this day, I just remember we were cutting through this neighborhood, and it was pitch black at night, it was like midnight, and this guy is going like 75 or 80 through a neighborhood, like, it's 20 miles an hour here, and this guy's flying, but 
I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen him. Let's hop in his car. I made a very grave mistake doing that. You see, Sam hopped in shoddy. I hopped in the back seat. And for some reason, I didn't leave my Coke at Sam's place. Sam didn't bring his shit, but I did. And I, I regretted that very bad a little later on. But either way, we hop in the car and we hit the road. Now, we get to the store just fine, right? No problems at all. But Anthony is still driving like a madman. The grocery store that we were going to was only like maybe seven or eight minutes from Sam's house. But, you know, this dude made it there in a good four or five minutes, like flying. His driving habits had not changed whatsoever. And also... We were all kind of starting to come down by the time we left the store. So we were in an urgent, urgent mission to get back to Sam's house. Now, this was supposed to be a very low risk kind of thing. I mean, like I just said, we literally had a five minute drive from Sam's place to the grocery store. So no problem at all. We all hop back in the car. Once again, I'm sitting in the back seat and we hit the road. Almost as soon as we pull out of this grocery store lot, it connects to a neighborhood, right? So we didn't take any really main roads. We just took a neighborhood. So Anthony pulls out of the parking lot and starts flying through the neighborhood. And we go speeding down the street. We're going, I don't remember how fast, but if I could guesstimate, I mean, probably a solid, like, at least 55 miles an hour through the neighborhood. Like, narrow streets, cars are parked on each side, you know? We go flying down the street, and we're going around this bend. I don't know how we didn't hit the guy, but we pass a cop. Like, we just veer. Like, literally, we we got so close to this guy's car that I could have rolled down the window and smacked him in the fucking jaw. I mean, we were so close to him. We went past, and as soon as that happened, Sam was just like, oh, shit, dude. And my heart fucking dropped. Immediately, as soon as that happened, I knew we were getting pulled over. The cop car wasn't parked on the side. No, he was driving. We just barely scraped past him. And I guess for some reason, Anthony didn't see him coming around the little bend, right? Which whatever, I'll give him the benefit. To be fair, I didn't see the guy coming either. So whatever, you know, fine. But he shouldn't have been driving like a dumb fuck. So of course, we get around the bend and we come up to the stop sign. The cops hit a U-turn and immediately lights us the fuck up. Now, it's not very late in the day. It's broad daylight, so it was kind of weird that there was a cop just cruising through the neighborhood, but it was a pretty nice area, so, I mean, it kind of made sense. We get lit up, and I realize really quickly that I've got to figure out what I'm doing with the blow in my pocket. I asked Sam, I'm like, bro, do either of you guys bring your Coke? And Sam's like, no, dude, mine's, mine's, you know, ours is back at my place. So I'm like, dude, fuck, I'm the only one with blow here. So... I reach into my pocket and I realize that, you know, obviously the cops behind us, so I can't lean down and just stuff it somewhere. I have to look like I'm still sitting up the whole time or else he's going to see that I lean down. So I reach into my pocket and I pull the bag of blowout and I just kind of throw it on the ground, right? Very, very smooth. And I'm, move I'm maneuvering it with my feet. I'm trying to move this bag under the floor mat. And I'm like, dude, I don't know if I can do this in time. And the guy I was looking, you know, I was trying to see through the rear view and I, I hadn't heard him open his door yet. I didn't want to turn my head back either, you know. I was trying to act cool about it. So I, I was trying to move this bag with my feet and I got it under the seat slash floor mat as far as I could get it. And of course, the cop comes up to the window almost right as I'm done doing that. Perfect timing. Now, my heart is beating through my feet fucking chest. I had a lot of close calls, but this one, I was scared shitless because A, like I mentioned, Anthony had just recently gotten out of jail. So it was much more likely that this cop was not going to be super friendly about this. You know, I mean, if you have a record, they're going to be assholes. They're going to try to find a reason to search you. And everyone in this car had a record. I had possession charges on my history, granted just of weed and stuff. And at this point, weed was technically, you know, not really something they were looking for, but nevertheless, I was riding with some people who had some less, um, uh, less amicable charges, to say the least, so either way, 
the cop comes up to Anthony's window, and he's like, yo, dude, I, I'm not really listening, honestly. My heart's beating so fast out of my chest, I'm not paying attention to the conversation. But the gist of it is he's like, what the fuck are you doing driving so fast? And, of course, Anthony's trying to say some dumb shit. He's like, oh, I'm trying to drop my friends off. I have to get home quickly and feed my dog or whatever. I don't know, saying some stupid-ass shit. But I'm not focused on the excuses he's giving about this. My heart is racing. I'm sweating hard as fuck at this point. I mean, I'm terrified. I'm sitting there and it's running through my head. I'm like, what even is a cocaine charge? Like, what? Like, I know it's a felony, but what? Are the, like, how long am I? Am I going to jail? Like, how fucked am I? You know? And I'm, I'm sitting there just running it through my head. Like, wow, I'm really bummed. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sent to like rehab for this. They're, they're gonna put me in drug court. This is gonna be fucked. You know? I'm freaking out. And Sam, meanwhile, he doesn't seem to give a fuck either that dude's just zoning out but i am too to be fair now what i also didn't realize before we'd gotten pulled over and what anthony neglected to tell us is that he had a suspended license i didn't realize that until the cop asked to see his license and he goes uh well mine's suspended right now sir but i was just driving through the neighborhood real quick now, that was when I really snapped back into things, because as soon as I heard that, I swear to God, I nearly shit my fucking pants. I look forwards, and I'm like, dude, we're boned. There's no way he's letting him drive this car home, right? Maybe he'll let one of us drive the car, but like, dude, we're fucked, you know? So I'm sitting here... And I'm like, this is not good. This is not good. You know, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm starting to have, like, a borderline panic attack here. And, you know, I never really had a panic attack before. But I I don't know if I would call this a panic attack. But this was the probably the most anxious I felt in my entire fucking life. Right? So the cop, obviously, he asks Anthony to step out of the car. Now, at this point, he doesn't ask us to step out of the car either. Right? We're, we're still chilling in the car. So... Everything's fine and dandy. Anthony steps out and the cop's talking to him and I'm sitting in the car and I say to Sam, I'm like, dude, what do you think's gonna happen, you know? He's like, oh, we'll be fine, man. Don't worry about it. Sam clutched up. That guy was calming me down because holy motherfuck, I was scared shitless at this point. I was like, bro, no, like I, I can't go like this, man. I don't, I don't, I don't want it to happen like this, you know? So... Anthony's outside talking to the cop behind the car, you know, and, and the cop kind of comes back to the car and he's like, all right, I just need all you guys to get out real quick, right? So we all get out and he asks us if we have anything on us that's going to poke him or anything and he searches all of us. Now, at this point, I'm scared shitless. He doesn't detain, like, he doesn't put cuffs on us or anything, right? And at this point, it's still just him. There's no other cops there. So I'm still thinking, like, okay, this isn't the worst thing ever. He got out, you know, he just kind of, like, patted us down, asked what was in our pockets, you know? Uh, I guess just a formality either way. And he asked us to just kind of lean against a, a, the car and talk to him. So... He says, all right, you know, obviously Anthony here can't drive it. You know, do you guys have driver's licenses? Now, I had a driver's license and so did Sam. So Sam, obviously, he volunteers. He's like, yeah, you know, I've, I've got my driver's license. You know, it's in my wallet. You already saw I got my wallet, you know, so we're good to go. The cop had asked our names, but he hadn't actually like carded us yet. So he's like, all right. Both of you have licenses, you know, let me just get your ID or whatever license it is. Uh, one of you guys can drive the car because the registration was fine and everything, right? And the cop honestly was being very cool about it. I mean, listen, cops are assholes, sure. But, uh, you know, he was being pretty cool about this, especially considering he could have searched the whole damn car. It didn't smell like weed, luckily. I will say that. We were very lucky that the car didn't reek of anything, you know? It was actually a pretty clean car, so... You know, we were chilling in that department, but either way, you know, he runs our IDs, we're sitting there, chilling out outside of the car, it's a nice little day out, Cops comes, or cop comes back, pardon me, gives Sam's, Sam and I's IDs back, and he's like, alright, which one of you guys wants to drive? Uh, now, obviously... Sam volunteers. I wasn't interested in volunteering. I was about to shit myself. I was not going to volunteer to drive, dude. I was still terrified. And he's like, all right, you know, when the time comes, I'll have you drive the car. Uh, and he says to Anthony, he's like, you, I just need you to stay here. We got to, you know, just write some shit. Come get in my car, right? So Anthony hops in shotgun of his car. And at this point, I'm feeling way more relieved because, you know, if, the cop tells you to get in shoddy and he's not actually putting you in the back and detaining you. 
you have much better odds of being completely fine. Chances are he's going to write you some, some tickets or citations or whatever and go, which driving on a suspended license is not something that they're going to book you and take you to jail for unless you also have a bunch of other issues. He had insurance on the car, you know? It was just his license that was an issue. So he we kind of lucked out that this guy didn't feel like being a prick. You know, he didn't search the car. He, you know, he checked us, but he didn't search the car. He let one of us drive the car that had a valid license, you know, because it was insured. So everything kind of worked out well. Anthony's chilling in his car, you know, he, he got a couple tickets. I don't know what ended up happening to him after this, but I actually had a similar situation happen to me. For those of you guys who have watched the video, I also got pulled over driving on a suspended and I, my car got impounded. Granted, I had no one else there with me to drive it, but my car got impounded. And then I got stranded at a gas station with like four different tickets, but I had no insurance on my car. So that was, that was the difference. No proof of insurance. So either way, luckily Anthony did have that proof. So we were good to go, right? He hops back out of the cop's car. The cop comes out. He's like, all right, you guys are good to go. You know, just have uh, one of you guys drive. That's good to drive. And uh, you're good to go. So I'm sitting there. I'm ecstatic. I, I am. I could go hug this man right now. I thank him. I'm waving at the guy, bro. I'm waving at this guy like he just dropped me off at school. Like this is like my long lost father. I'm waving. I'm smiling like a little laddie, dude. I'm like, holy fuck. My cocaine is intact, right? Sam hops in drivers, Anthony's in shoddy, I'm back in the back seat, and we pull off. Now, as soon as we pull around the corner, I remember, I just let out like a woo! I just started laughing, dude. We all started laughing about it. I dapped up the boys. I was like, listen, I, I am never in my fucking life riding in your car again, Anthony. I said that to him, and I meant it, because after this day, I actually never have ridden in his car again. Um, So... I, I don't know what's up with him nowadays, but I couldn't believe that we actually got out of this pretty much scotch-free. I mean, Anthony got fucked, but that's what you get for driving on a suspended. You know, us two, Sam and I, we were chilling. Thank God. I don't know what Sam had on him. He didn't say he had coke, but, I mean, knowing that guy, he probably had some other weird shit on him, like some oxys or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm just glad we got out of that, and I felt like it would make a banger little story, you know? After that, after we pulled off from the cop, we went back to Sam's place and got geeked out of our fucking minds. Absolutely sent, right? We'd also gotten some liquor at the grocery store and some other goodies, so we had a nice little evening. But, you know, that's not the point of the story. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. Thank you guys for tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.